Hi everybody, this is Nir from NoviSign. Today I'm going to show you the advertising system. Ready? Let's roll. Well, first thing you need to log into your account using your managing user. Let's do it. And there we are. Now, in the top right corner, you can see the link which says manage. Let's click it. This will bring us to another login form. So let's do it again for security reasons. And now it brings me to the console management system where I manage my users. However, I like to show you this button which is called publishing. Let's click it. This is the advertising system. I have three tabs here. First one is called publishers, second one is called groups, and the third one is called channels. So how does it work? Well, publishers uh, basically are users which I like their content or playlist to be published with the, or in other users' uh, premises. So if I'd like to create one, I just click the new button. Then I have to type a publisher name. I can give it a description. Then I need to choose one of my users. And after choosing a, users, a user, I have to choose a playlist. Then I click the Save button. Cancel. Now, after having at least one publisher, I go to Groups. I, of course, I can also edit and delete any of them. Like that, very simple. Even change its playlist if I like. Now, next step is the groups. Now, the publishers are the actually the entities which have their content and want their content to be broadcasted into other users. So, other users are going to be grouped into groups. Now, how this will be done? What I see here, I see all my users, I can see unassigned users, and I can see groups which I already created. To create a group, I just need to click the new button. Then I add a new uh, a group name, click the save, and I have a group. So if, for example, I take this one and I press the show button, this will show me all the users in the right frame which belong to this group, this one. If I'd like to see the users of this group, I'll click it and then click the show button, which will show me the users of this group. Currently, there are no users. I can also I can also filter here by typing a group name, login name, and also the name of the user. Clear the filter or see which user is not assigned. So these are the two ingredients for creating a channel. Having a group, at least one group, and having at least one publisher. So after having that, that means one group and one publisher at least, I can go to the channels tab and here I can do, actually create the channel. For example, let's take this one. This channel, which is called Screens Test, is made of, basically, in order to create it, you just have to feed a name, choose a breakpoint break interval, which I'll explain later, and press the Save button. So, this one, the chosen uh, channel, which is called Screens Test, has one group, which is called Testing Bars, and one publisher, which is called just Publisher. So what we see here, here we see time. That time, it's time in minutes. If I click the, the edit, I can see that there, this is the duration. And if I go to this publisher and click here, the edit, I have different duration. What does it mean? It means that in this case, each 
member of this group is going to have his own playlist being played for 25 minutes. After that, he's going to see on his screen the chosen playlist of this publisher, the first publisher, being played for 35 minutes. Now, if I had another publisher, then just right after this publisher, the next publisher would get in and being played on the screens of the members of this group, which is called testing bars. Now, after one cycle of the publisher's content, then it goes back to the group and plays its original contents again for 25 minutes like it is defined here. Of course, I can change those durations. Let's do it. For example, here, not for 25 minutes, but for 45 minutes. And this one, I'll change it into 10 minutes. I'll click the save. And now we have a better proportion. I can also remove publishers from this channel or remove any group from this channel and once I have a channel with groups and publisher it will start work it will start working immediately that means it will play the original content then the publishers content then the original content and so on and so on this is how it works well that's all for today folks signing out